Tropical Depression Debbie now pulling away from the Carolinas and will move up the eastern seaboard through this weekend, providing rain for many. We'll say good riddance. It put down about six months worth of rain in a matter of about four days in some locations of South Carolina. Temperatures have been so different across the area today. Low 70s east where it's been raining, upper 80s to around 90 west. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, there'll be partly cloudy skies, low to mid 70s. As the day goes on, it will be a nice day, but a hot day. Temperatures get in the low 90s with some added humidity. It will feel more like 99 to 100 degrees. So 96 the high in Anderson, 93 in Greenville and Spartanburg and 86 the high in Asheville. So Debbie pulling away. That's the big story here. Pulling with it. The rain as we go slowly throughout the night. That rain pulling away and then moving into this weekend. Drier air from the north begins to filter in. So it's going to be really nice both days this weekend with little to no chance for rain. As we go into next week, most of the week feeling some slight pool from the north as far as winds are concerned. So temperatures will be a few degrees below where they should be this time of the year, which means it's going to feel a little bit nicer out. Moving forward, we are tracking the tropics each and every day here through hurricane season. Uh, we do expect more development. Unfortunately, another area that we're watching deeper into the Atlantic, that main development region. Once it gets into this area, which we expect to be early next week, the very likely he'll be dealing with another strong tropical system. The models show it being a hurricane, possibly even a strong hurricane. Of course, you know, we'll be watching it closely. What do the models say? Well, this takes us into the weekend. Not much cooking, but here's our wave moving toward the west. By Monday, it looks like it's tight enough to be a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Next name on our list would be Ernesto. Here's the big Bermuda high. You'll hear us talk about that a lot. That's the steering pattern that dictates where these systems will go. It looks like the windward and leeward islands will have to deal with the potential of a tropical system as early as Tuesday. Then it moves toward the west dipping into the Caribbean for a little bit. Puerto Rico could be dealing with a tropical storm or a cat one hurricane. Then it makes its way into the Atlantic again, where depending on where it pops back out, Almost all of our computer models, the GFS, the Canadian and the European here show a hurricane developing and then moving toward the west northwest by next Friday. Looks like we're dealing with the possibility of a strong hurricane. What are the models taking from here? Most of them thread that needle between the Outer Banks and Bermuda. But of course, you know, it's early. This is about nine to ten days out. We'll have to watch that very closely, and it does look like beyond that several other waves will need to be watched as well as we enter a very active time frame of tropical season. So the four day looks like this feeling like around 99 to 100 degrees tomorrow, 93 the high. As we go into the weekend, almost picture perfect. Partly sunny skies, going to be nice out. A thunderstorm possibly uh, as we go into Monday and beyond, but temperatures topping out a few degrees below normal each day next week. Western North Carolina, same story. A few thunderstorms tomorrow, otherwise dry this weekend, then low 80s in the next week.